folks welcome welcome to today's video so a couple days ago I took y'all from the bridge in Koreatown to the Jollibee and back now I figured you know what we'll ride over here by the bridge once we get a clearing I'm basically in the median right here so don't worry we're protected by this median wall Once I get a break in the traffic, nah. we'll go ahead and proceed. Yeah, break the traffic. There, there are more coming. Baby, you got. You, listen, we got plenty of time. We got more time than we got insurance. So let Rick and Racer go. Go. Let Evil and Evil go, and then we just easy, smooth roll over here. Baby, I want to see where this dirt road leads. Don't y'all want to see where the dirt no. road leads? Yes, we want to see. No, that's already going in there. Oh, babe, I'm going to down way. Just wait. I'm not going that far. I just want to show everybody. All right. Now, folks, I got to turn the camera around, get the right angle on the dangle to show you where my curiosity has been peaked. Baby, don't you want to go down to the river? No. No? Okay, so I don't know if this angle on the dangle is going to work because it's an offset over to the port side. Oh, no. Baby, listen, I'm not going down the hill, okay? I'm just going to come right here and see what's going on. Just give you a view. Hello. Everybody's complaining, but y'all don't know what I'm about to do. I'm about to cut a U-turn. Because uh, What's in here? Well, they're doing some construction here. I just wanted to give everybody a view of what's going on right here at the bridge. Now, any more complaints from the peanut gallery? Any complaints? <laughs> Anybody else complaining? Got a couple of pieces of old uh, equipment here. All right, so we'll get back on the bridge and just continue on. I'm just concerned about this angle on the dangle. It's a little bit too far shooting to the left. Bye, man. Bye, Duma. Downey. Listen, Downey is not the reason. Then that my shirt stinks. It's been raining too, so. Okay, well, the reason the shirt stinks is because you didn't let it dry and you put it in my closet and it mildewed and now all my shirts are scum. It's not my, it's not my yellow fault that the sun cannot dry your clothes and also why you know already that stink, then why you wear that? Well, because I didn't realize that it stank yeah, until I walked what, outside. Have, I, I walked outside and I was like, damn, is that that tree? Oh, that, you're already, you're outside. Is it's that still just outside the smell? Of the house. Why you not change? I thought it could be the smell of the Philippines. And then I realized, no, it's the smell of my damn t-shirt. Yeah, Thanks yeah, to my wife. Yeah. My wife who put the clothes away when they weren't fully dry. How that, you know, that's not my fault. The sunshine is full. Baby, listen. There's not a there's not a damn cloud in the sky. There's nothing but sunshine. How can you say that the sunshine didn't dry it? You just didn't leave it out there long enough. I'm not the one who dried it. Who dried it? The sunshine. Okay, honey. And also, I'm not a dryer. Not. Okay. Okay, baby. If you have a dryer, I'm a. Yeah, there's a dryer. It's called that. Yeah. It's called the sun. Put it on the you line. Don't complain if bad smell. Leave it out the there. Sun, no, not enough sunshine. You leave it out there till it dries. You just got, you got too excited, and you brought the shit in before it was dry. Just say, okay, Marcos. I I'll take off. Take it. Take off. You want? Take off. I am gonna take it off. Oh. 
I'm gonna, oh I'm, God, gonna ride, I'm gonna ride this tour shirtless <laughs> to get all these Filipinas over here and Brungay and Nuna. It's all excited. <gasps> That's good. After no Fili no Filipino Filipina can come with you. <laughs> yeah, because if they get on the chopper, they're gonna be like. Man, you stink. Oh, that, that's that's good. That's good. Just like that. That's better good. That's good. I so smell. Did you do this on purpose after I told you that story <laughs> the other day? I thought I was gonna tell you a story. So I was riding down uh, towards the GP terminal. I, I can't remember what I was. I was going down there. I think to get her some fruit or something anyhow so I'm heading down towards the jeepney terminal you know in the direction of walking street and there's this beautiful young lady walking on the sidewalk uh, I don't even remember where I picked her up at right she was just walking and she was all dressed up it was obvious she was headed towards walking street and for whatever reason she wasn't she wasn't taking the jeepney so i don't know if she didn't have the 12 pesos or not so anyhow being the gentleman that i am i just kind of slowed down i said i said how you doing i said you need a ride this guy looked at me he's like no nah, no nah, i'm okay I said, all right, well, I'm headed towards the jeepney terminal. If you want to ride, hop on. She thought about it for about another split second. Here she come, jumped on the back of the chopper. It's a little small talk, you know. She's a pretty girl. She's about 28, you know, a little older lady. <laughs> so, uh, now look, I've been working all day. I've been working all day. And I've, and I've been drinking, and I think I smoked me a cigar. I think that's what the problem was. I smoked a cigar. And we're carrying on the small talk, and, and it wasn't like I was trying to get her phone number and get up with her. I truly just gave the girl a ride. That's it. She was. I knew where she was going. I was going almost to where she needed to go. I, I was just uh, trying to help a, help a fellow human out. And so... During the, the conversation, she said something about, sir, why do you have a bad smell? I said, what? She said, yeah, you got bad smell. And that's that's the Filipina term. A lot of Filipinas, they don't say, sir, you stink. Or, yo, man, man, you, you smell horrible. They, they say bad smell, right? Well, at least that's what Fatima says. So, I said, bad smell? I said, well, hey, I've been working all day. I've been sweating. I don't have an air conditioner installed yet. I've been drinking beer and I smoked a cigar. So which one is it? Are you are you smelling the are you smelling my sweat? Are you smelling the cigar? Are you smelling the beer? I I don't know. But yeah, she just flat out told me. Hey, you, you bad smell. Well, you ain't got nothing to worry about because I ain't trying to pick you up and take you to the Hilltop Hotel. I was just trying to be nice and give you a damn ride. And now you in insulted me. <laughs> Hurt my feelings. Made me feel bad. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty bad when a damn hooker tells you tells you, you stink. <laughs> and well, you know, I mean, the redneck bone, I mean, wanted to say, well, you know what? You smell good right now. But when you did that walk of shame last night, or this morning at about 6 a.m., I'm sure you didn't smell too good either. <laughs> and in a couple hours, you're not gonna smell, yeah, I'm gonna smell a lot better than you yeah. in a couple hours. Uh, once, once you engage in your money-making activity, we'll just leave it at that. So anyway, I, I thought it was kind of funny. What's the word for ungrateful in Tagalog? I can't remember, it slips my, my mind. Yeah, you don't want to say it. You know exactly what it is. Folks, a lot of times here in this country, the word ungrateful will pop into your mind. That's all I'm gonna say. You 
could have said, hey, thanks for the ride, and then went and told her friends later, oh my god, this dude was nice. He gave me a ride, but he smelt like a fucking cigar, or he smelt like beer, or, or he smelt like a camel's ass, like he'd been working all day. She could have told her friends that. And told me, hey man, thank you, thank you for the ride. No, she just told me flat out, you stink. <laughs> While she's getting a free ride. I should have pulled over and said, that'll be 12 pesos, ma'am. It'll be 12 pesos. Go ahead and pay. Pay the conductor. <laughs> Anyhow. I don't even know how I got to talk about that. I was supposed to be giving y'all a tour of Koreatown from the bridge to, uh, I don't know where we're going. Let's keep rolling. We got an office building over there under construction. Office building for rent, KTVs. More CCTV right there. Like I said, Koreatown's got their own CCTV system. I don't know who exactly monitors it, but. Got their own enhanced. There you go. Let's use that word enhanced. Enhanced security. Kill Rio Town. Sort of a good reason. You know, you go back over the years, occasionally these Korean business guys will get kidnapped. Sometimes it's bad guys and gangsters. A couple of times it's actually been the Popo. <laughs> oh shit, did I say that? Passing the Guanas. Authentic Mexican restaurant. Hello, my friend. How you doing, buddy? And folks, I've told this story many times. But when Fatima uh, was pregnant with Forrest G, top five soon to open China Bank or Top G for rent. That's right. Hello. She was pregnant with little Forrest G. Because her and Helen were going to Manganasaw every day for lunch, getting the only rice. Her doctor told her not to do it. And she got so big, um, it came down to the wire, but the, it was a, what was it, Saturday night? Friday night. Saturday night, right? I can't remember, but. Sunday. Oh, yes, ma'am. Today's Sunday. Very good. But when your brother was born, wasn't it a Saturday? It was a weekend, right? Anyhow, whoa, Forrest G. Whatever night it was, I had planned to go to Iguanas to get some uh, Mexican food and margaritas. And we said, all right, we'll, we'll run by your doctor. She's over there. Let's run by, do a quick checkup. And she's probably gonna say, you know, the baby's coming next week. And then we'll go get some margaritas. So we rolled to her doctor's appointment, what I thought was gonna be a quick in and out. The doctor said, oh no, this baby's got to come right now. We're gonna do a C-section. I said, whoa, whoa, what? Henry's liquor house to the right, right there. I said, but, but I'm supposed to go eat Mexican food and drink margaritas. <laughs> she looked at me. Uh, no, sir. That baby's got to come right now. Anyhow, every time I see iguanas, it reminds, it reminds me of uh, the evening when Fatima got admitted to the hospital. And shortly thereafter, little Forrest G was born, came into this world. Little whippersnapper. All right, I'm going to cut a right, but you know what? Bad idea because I'm shooting into the sun. So we will just go ahead and flip a U-turn here, or else y'all not gonna be able to see anything. So we'll just cut a U-E, and we got the police here. Hello, sir, how are you? Okay, folks, shout out. Shout out to my police friends right there. And out doing a uh, difficult job here, keeping everybody safe, just a friendly conversation, and actually got a photo with those gentlemen, so shout out to y'all, and it was a pleasure to meet y'all. 
Look, I thought that we're doing aerobic. <laughs> uh, you, well, you know what? It, 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 <laughs> because you're that's the way it is. Usually when the police talk to you, you think that you're doing something wrong, but we, we're not doing anything wrong. And not all encounters with the police are negative. That was a positive encounter. Just talking to the gentleman and you know, they're out and about doing their job and talking to the citizens. That's what they're supposed to be doing. That's exactly what they're supposed to be doing. And, uh, and, and anyhow, again, positive experience talking to the police. And it was nice to meet you, gentlemen. I hope you all stay safe tonight and have a good shift, my friends, because back in the day, that was me. If y'all don't know that, I used to be the popo myself. I wore a uniform just like they did uh, in my younger years. Part of my law enforcement career, I did work the road. Not too many years uh, working the road, but I did wear a uniform for several years. Work the road, as we say. So anyhow, that was pretty cool because sometimes Maria, well, she's pretty pretty much settled lately that she wants to be a firefighter. Now, months ago, if you ask her what she wanted to be, it would be, I want to be a police, I want to be a firefighter, I want to be an astronaut, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a nurse. She had, she had many, many professions, right? But lately, Lately, if you ask her, she wants to be a firefighter. She's kind of settled on that. And, you know, nobody pushed her. That's just what she's gravitated for. Look at the horses. Look at the horses. Look at the horse, Maria. See the horse? Yeah. Now, folks, I'm just going to cut a U-turn in here. just wanted to show you the, uh, the beauty and the architecture of this area here, of this gate show the babies the uh look over there i got horses and cows over there look, the horse. yeah, horse and the cow. yep and there's a a sheep yeah pretty huh so we'll just kind of cut down through here yeah there's angels I'll show you that building in detail. You know what? Maybe I'll show you now in case we get going and the lighting goes down. Yeah, you got angels. Yeah. Okay. Nice and shaded through here. If you're looking for a place to walk or jog. Where's go where is going in that? I'm just gonna go down there and see what's right down through there. Look the angel, Maria. See the angels? I like that. Yeah. And then we'll come over here and see the cows. Look so beautiful, Maria. And they got the Ten Commandments right here. Did y'all see those? The Ten Command Commandments. Yeah. And we'll come over here and see the cows. Nope, Maria. Nice, Maria. So pretty, huh? Maria, so nice, right? Yeah. Want to see the cows? Got a cows or a cows and a sheep. Yeah, sheep. There's two sheep. There's, he's hiding behind the cow. Marquitos, he's private now. Baby, I'm not trespassing. You are no. I'm you're not trespassing. The... I'm just looking. I guess you can I look not. in the road, though. I'm turning around. I don't want to go in jail with trespassing. Goodness, Marcus. All right, so. Hey, Elm. So the children of the statues. Okay, well we're going we're going this way, sweetie. We're gonna see what's down here, okay? You have you have a lot of gas? Juice? Uh check the juice. Oh yeah, full bars. Okay. 
Okay, Hevea Hotel and Resort, H-E-V-E-A. Off to the right side, very modern building. Hotel or condo? It says Hotel and Resort. Uh. Chia Colo Fig and Berry Bakery Cafe. Look, Daddy. Yeah, look at the fountain. So pretty, huh? It's a beautiful fountain, right? It's got lions and so pretty. Okay, so we will just drive in here and just give you a look. It's called Fig and Berry Bakery Cafe. Now, Fatima, this is a public restaurant, so don't worry about us trespassing. Okay, so Fig and Berry Cafe. A lot of sculptures going on here. Yeah, look, Maria. Nice one. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look, look, Daphne. Look. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So nice in here. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful ladies. Beautiful. Walking down the street. We have a lot of beautiful. Now look at there, you got a playground for the children over here to the left. You know what? One day we'll come back and Mama and Papa get some coffee and you can play on the playground. Look at how beautiful this is, folks. Look, Maria. This is very Romanesque. It's not horse. It's a half horse. It's a half horse, half swan. I'm not sure. Mer oh no, it's a mermaid horse. <laughs> Barking. Now, right. folks, none of this was planned. We just get out on the chopper. We just go, and certain Welcome things just boat. tell me to go left or go right. Grand Palazzo Royale. This is open. I don't know. Doesn't look open. Looks like a, some type of event hall. Uh, maybe if someone's married. I don't know. Wow, so pretty, huh? Hey, look at those. I like it. Baby, I'm not trespassing. You are not over here in the ground. Oh, look them. at this old car over here. This old Model T type. It's look, too far for me to see exactly there. what kind of car it is. Look at the tail. But there's a hmm? car right through there. Let me tell, right? Yeah. Let me see. I can't see. I can't see that far. Daddy. Yes, ma'am. Go see a mermaid tail, right? Folks, this this is a little oasis, and some of y'all will know exactly what this place is all about and exactly the history. So please leave it down in the comments section, so that others may learn. Well, so that I may learn, because I have no idea what the history of this place is. But you got just a beautiful... Inside into the old day. Walking mm -hmm. slash outdoor greenery space. It looks like the whole wedding's here. If I had to just go out on a limb. Wouldn't you say this is a great place for weddings, Fatima? Yeah. Plenty of parking back here. It's quiet. Mm -hmm. It's shaded. And who, I mean, who knows? Maybe you get married at this church, and this is the reception area. I, I, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Yeah. A lot of green space here. Yeah, plenty of parking. Yeah. Yeah. Let's pull over here and read some of these signs. Let's see what the sign says. I know you want to go on the playground, but it's not a free playground. That's we'll, for that huh? It's for paying customers. We'll come back when we're paying customers. See, folks, obviously this place, I don't want to say obviously, it looks like it was built probably back in the 80s. Dragon? When uh, Clark Air Base was Clark Air Base. Nice. This is it says old entrance man. GPR. Yeah, it's just the old area. 
It's wow. just a beautiful. Look, Maria, the horse. Old area. Wow. Horses. Beautiful place to have a wedding. Yeah, hey, if, you, if you have a wedding, you can. So, okay, the name of this is Geo Cocolo. Geo Cocolo. Yeah, so nice. Okay. So I guess it's a restaurant. And I'll do some research when I get back to the crib, but like I said, I had no idea the spot was here. No idea that we were gonna come by this spot. But we just took y'all on a little secret tour. Thanks to the Tesla chopper. And that building to the right over there says the Jake building. And then, I'm not sure the name of this church type building here. But there you go. I think, I think this is a new church. Yeah, this is a church. Looks like you get married here and have a beautiful wedding reception over here out back. That's just speculation. How the hell do I know? <laughs> yeah, it's church. Hopefully I got the name, uh, hopefully I got the sign on the video. I think it's G-I-O-C-O-C-C-O-L-O. -C -C -O -O. That's Italian. Okay, so let's go back down here and continue straight where I was going to go in the first place. It's right across from this H-E-V-E-A, Hevia. Beautiful, uh, just in the trees, from pine trees, coconut trees. So there you go, there's the sign. C-I-O-C-C-O-L-O. Chalcolo Cafe, Fig and Berry Bakery Cafe. Fig and Berry. Fig and Berry. <laughs> Twigs and Berries. That's a movie, what movie is that from? Yeah. All right, so we'll just take a ride down through here. A little speed bump. All right, we didn't drag the ground. And you can see, as far as the eye can see, so I'm gonna stop the camera for just a second. Give it this a little bit nice of a rest. Drive, huh? Yeah, this is beautiful. If you wanna come ride a bicycle or do a little Not walk. So much yeah, I mean, this whole road right here is shaded and what is it, like 4.30? It's not even 5 o'clock, I don't think. Okay, now I know the video is still a little backlit, but there's a sign that says Ellen Farm, E-L-E-N, and Core Virtual Mall down this little alleyway. And I'm going to continue straight, but that's piqued my interest that I may cut down that little alleyway. What you think, baby? Big old beautiful building here under construction, or it was under construction. I've got to investigate this because it looks Romanesque as well. <laughs> that means it means like ancient Rome, baby. By His Grace Family Church, Angeles yeah, City Furniture Village, Cut Cut, Curry yeah, International. That's a big building. Yes. Okay, let me just cut over and give everybody a view of this building. Fourth team, keep all hands inside the aircraft, son. Just show y'all what I'm looking at. This is such a nice little ride because <laughs> folks, wide open spaces in the Philippines are hard to come by. Oh, they got sheep over there. Right. Uh, see them over there? Yeah. Yeah, they're way over there. So is this a something to do with a sheep farm? I don't know if that's. I want to see a sheep, Daddy. It's too far. It's too that's far. goat. Eh? That's, that's not, not a goat. That's a sheep. No, it's a goat. Honey, 
I don't know what a sheep looks like from a distance. Okay? And there ain't no goats that big in the Philippines, okay? The Philippines got skinny goats. Did you see how fat them things look from a distance? It's because they're sheep. It's a goat. That's not a goat. Goat. Okay. How much you want to bet? Okay, so this looks like the entrance to a subdivision here. Yeah, of course, G. So this might be as far as we get to go. Yeah, okay, no trespassing private property to the right. Yeah, so this is very Romanesque back in here. Maybe some of y'all live up in here. I'm just amazed because I ain't never been here. Turn around. Uh, I'm going to ask them what's the name of this. Hello, sir. I want to know. Where's that? Uh, what, what's the name of this neighborhood here? What's uh, the, the, the name of this? Alayno Serrano, uh, Grand Royal Palazzo. Grand Royal? Royal Garden. Grand Royal Garden? Yeah. Okay, it's just uh, homes? Just houses? A neighborhood? Yeah, yes sir. All of this are all the area. Uh, Grand Palazzo. Area. Oh, okay, Grand Garden. Palazzo. Mm -hmm. Royal that's, Garden. That's beautiful architecture. With all the statues and everything. Okay, man, I'll turn around here. Okay, thank you. All right, folks, so we got to, we got to turn around here. We got security. Grand Palazzo. Old fashioned. All right, thank you. Thank you. This one's look like a. That one's brand new, yeah, that's under construction. Okay, so shout out to my new friends, the security guards there. Nice gentleman. And now we're gonna head back and cut in on that little alleyway right up here to see what's shaking. Yeah, so maybe some of y'all listening to my voice watching this video, maybe this is your neighborhood. <laughs> if it is, give us some history on the place. It's beautiful. Go from looking at trash and dog crap down there around Walking Street. You come over here and you see Roman sculptures, wide open spaces, sheep, and beautiful architecture. I think we'll make this a regular uh, occasion on our nightly rides, baby, just to, just to see some wide open spaces. Yeah, it's cheap. Okay, take a good look over here. Look over here, Maria. Yeah, I cannot see. Take a look. Okay, let me pull up here so you can see the sheep. Honey, those are not goats. <laughs> can you see right through there? Okay, you see all them sheep over there? Okay. I can see them. Okay, let Papa pull up and you can see. See right over here to the right. right look right through the barbed wire. There's some sheep right there. Uh, I'll even give you the viewers. See them right through there? Mm -mm. The, do those look like goats to you? Look like a dog. <laughs> you know what? I think there may be one goat among them. Yeah, the brown one. There's one brown goat. So we were both right, baby. Marriage Whoa. is about a compromise. That's dog. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes, it is a dog, but I was trying to make you feel better. Oh, yeah. There's no goats out there, girl. There ain't no goats out there, baby. That's nothing but sheep and a brown sheep dog out there watching the herd. Dad, they want to see. Here, Maria. Right over there, sweetie here. girl. You got to look right through there. Look. You see him? I want to see. Well, I can't get any closer, sweetie. <laughs> okay. All right, folks. Maria kept claiming she can't see the sheep, but she just wanting me to get closer. She's playing, playing we, tricks, we being sneaky. We cannot go in there. Ow! Core. Virtual Mall and Ellen Farm. Maybe there's a there's an arrow, there's a road. Don't you want to know what it's what's at the end of this road? Aren't you curious? No, they there's, don't have road in there. That's the end. There's no sign that says no trespassing. If there's a sign like up like at this place here to the left, there's a sign that says no trespassing. So we don't go in there. This is a public road. Oh, 
and go. there's a sign. There's enough road in there. Honey, sweetie, you don't know until you drive down here don't, and see what's going on. Don't going to be a wrong turn. Oh don't my me. gosh, you and Jen are so scared of that movie. Oh, Folks, private property, no trespassing. Every time they, Hoy. they're so scared of that movie, wrong turn. Hoy. No trespassing. All right, this place is called Core. Oh Lord. Oh, no trespassing. Don't okay, go so in yeah, there. so right there is a sign that says no trespassing, private property. Okay, so it's pretty simple. You just you just turn around, honey. There's no law being broken, right? Wait, what is this? This one. <laughs> it looks like pears, but those ain't pears. Like my spotted some fruit growing on this tree. Inside the oh, inside in the no. They got all kind of fruit trees in there. That's not a mango. It look, it look like a pear, but it's not. All right, so we're on our way out. Not guilty of trespassing, Fatima. Trespassing alone? Or the older the train. Honey, that dog is not going to eat the sheep. All what? Right? His job is to guard the sheep, OK? Trust me, that's he's a sheep dog. Hmm? He's going to keep them safe. No, he's 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 not gonna eat the sheep, honey. He's trained to keep out the. Uh, I see a baby the, lamb. But you know the thing about it, I don't know why you need it. You need a sheep dog to herd the sheep, but not to protect them from predators. There ain't no wild predators around here. I, I see were, a baby lamb, Dad. If there were wild coyotes and shit, they'd be on a barbecue tomorrow. He <laughs> ain't no wild wild Dad. animals around here. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I see a baby man. Yeah, you see him? Yes. Oh. Fatima, you want to eat them sheep? I might eat a goat in that one. Oh my gosh. Honey, a sheep, lamb is totally different than a mm, goat. Just the same way? No, it's not, honey. Uh. I understand the taste of a goat. It's got that goat taste. These do not. It's, it's okay. delicious. Oh, eat. Oh my gosh. All right, run out there and put one on your back. Oh, bring them tonight. <laughs> tonight, huh? Okay, so here we go. Coming back oh, out. I dream here. this place, huh? Hmm? I dream this. You dream about yeah. this place? Yo, when we come here. When did you dream about it, baby? I don't know. I dreamed yeah, huh? this. You dreamed about it? Uh -uh. All right, I'll just swing around and give you a view inside the uh, sheep sheep farm here. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go trespassing. Oh, you know me. I'm oh. trespassing. Look at those. No, oh, they have already been wired. Oh, gosh. Baby, listen, all I'm doing is turn around, enjoying the view, the wide open spaces. <laughs> There's not many wide open spaces here in the Philippines. If there are, there'll be uh, 300 quiz out there playing basketball. In the... You know, in America, you're used to, uh, unless you live in New York City. In America, you're used to wide open spaces on a daily basis, you know, even driving up and down the interstate. Here, wide open spaces are scarce. Places that you can go like that and just enjoy the view and the serenity, the quiet, and the peacefulness of the countryside. Wow. So we'll put that on our list of places to come eat at, see what's up, see what's shaking. <laughs> okay, hold on, Fatima. Hold on, I want to do trespassing. Oh, God. I just want to see the architecture of the building. I see wow. a baby. What's that sign say? Something about a raffle Mother ticket. Good. Let's give I you a look around. This. Yeah, Jesus Christ is God. Beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. I see this a baby. is called Risen Christ baby. Chapel. Daddy. Just beautiful area here. Yes, ma'am. I see two babies. Oh, yeah, he's sitting. Hey, son, leave, give me that key, buddy. Forest G, my goodness. Leave that key alone, man. If you pull that key out, we got no power, man. 
All right. It's All right, back on the way. It's riding, Dad. Yeah, the little boy's riding. And again, you got uh, the Ten Commandments here. That's what we do. Three, four, thou shalt, five, six, seven. Thou shalt not kill. Oh, well, that's one. the right, right side. Thou shalt not commit adultery, steal, covet thy neighbor's wife. Oh, Lord. Baby, I got so many Captain save hoes coveting you. Co coveting Filipino wife number two. Y'all need to read them Ten Commandments. Yeah, Mama Cow, yeah, Papa Cow, cow. cow. See Dada the cow? cow. Oh. Look here, Maria. Wait, that's both Mama Cow. Oh, this is a nativity scene here. This is like at Christmas. That's a way in a manger. Little Jesus. Yeah, yeah they have a Jesus. ship in their ship. Yeah, Mama Cow, Daddy Cow, and Baby Cow. Yep. No, that's both Mama Kawai because they do, they have a titties. Hey, what are we? Are we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here. Yeah, I'm right. I love Which one you. got titties? Yes, I she's know. got titties. So yes, that's, it's that's, a Mama Kaw. That's not a Dada Kaw, but that's a Mama Kaw both because they have a big titties. <laughs> then one day your boobs will be that big. I don't, I don't, not, next, next go around, I'm not buying any bear brand it's milk. It's not a mommy cow. It's only a baby cow. They have a mama cow. It's a baby cow? Both mama yeah. cow, they have a baby cow. Oh, okay. They have yeah, a baby, baby ship, a mama ne ship. Ne next go around, I hope yours are that big, because I'm not buying no more bear brand. That stuff's expensive, baby. Uh-uh. All natural. Eddie, your kids is going hungry. <laughs> you better grow some. You better grow some. Grow some boobies. What can I do if they don't have my Lord, Marcus? Don't force. Hey, I'm gonna kill you. Good Lord, better be better be blessing blessing you with some. Uh, I see a horse. Milking them. I see a horse, Daddy. Yeah, there's the horse. I like the horse. Yep, you got a Roman chariot. I adore that horse. <laughs> That, yeah, the, the horse that you rode in Baguio was called Darna. Okay, so there you go. Grand Palazzo Royale. That's where we're at. And right next... Oh, here's a school supply place. Huh? Oh, sign says school supplies. Sun Fresh Mini Mart. It's not supplies. And there's a sign that says Royal Golf Driving Range. So there's a driving range back there somewhere. somewhere. Okay, everybody ready? Okay, everybody hold on, here we go. No traffic, so we'll make a slow turn. Oh yeah, in here, school supplies. Yeah, you got school supplies. Some See, that's fresh, only mini mart. It's, it's not the same. Thank you. Yeah, it's a little small place, got 50% off. Daddy. Wendy Flores, Cruise Dent Care. Hello. Hey, folks, on. Okay, sweetie. Well, folks, I know the angle on the dangle is shooting off to the port side too much. It's just the most solid uh, mounting option that I have. If I mount you over here on the rock, <laughs> mount you, eh? I'm not trying to mount you. If I mount the GoPro on the right side, it'll be on the throttle, which will be going up and down as I accelerate and decelerate. You know what, maybe the stabilization will take care of it. Let me mount this thing up on the right side here. So you can check out these buildings to the right. Come on there, Coach Chiefs. Okay, so there we go. And again. That <laughs> ah, seems like a lot of... A lot of play. Try it right there. All right, mount it down just a little bit more. Okay, now you're shooting off the right side of the aircraft. And I got positive, positive thrust here. You see, when I get off the throttle, you're looking at the ground. Got a little bit of lap traffic coming, so uh, 
beautiful mural on the side of this building. It's called the Jake Building. Sweetie, hungry. you're hungry. Well, five minutes ago, you were sleepy. <laughs> All right, sweetie, we'll turn around up here in just a little bit, okay? What's Mama Tima cooking tonight? It's you cooking. My turn to cook. Yeah. Retro 252 Premium Cafe. Wow, nice looking place. Nice building, upscale. Hello, sir. Hello. Pretty cool place there. Folks, there's some upscale spots here in Angeles City, believe it or not. The Russell May Cordero Rooney Atelier. I don't I have no idea what that is. Seed Realty and Consultancy. I got that. That's going to conclude southbound I say southbound sunset yeah pretty much southbound tour what's that called Rosewood Park Homes four rent three bedroom three bath furnished that's sort of gonna conclude the tour maybe next time we'll take it a little bit further a place called W1 Mark Korean restaurant. Again, this see this is, is Korean. Yeah, my everything here. We're still in Koreatown. We're still seeing Philippines signs in Korean. Korean no? Still seeing signs in Korean, and I'm not saying that. I don't know the demographic makeup of these neighborhoods. I don't know if uh, a lot of Korean folks live in these neighborhoods this far. And it's just a, uh, Korean businesses. I'd just be speculating. All I can tell you is what I observed. And I observed still seeing signs in Korean. So I'd say this is still part of the Koreatown area. And we've got a little uh, crosswalk here. No light or anything like that, but it is a uh, very well marked crosswalk. So what we're going to try to do is get across the pedestrian crosswalk here in the chopper. And I know people say, you you don't get any helmets on, no seat belts, blah, blah, blah. But you know what, what the hell's the difference if we were walking and we're crossing here on foot at a pedestrian crosswalk? What's the difference? What's the difference, folks? I just turned around so I got a better, better angle of attack here. The place behind is called Oriental Dental Clinic. No, Oriental Clinic. All right, everybody hold on, we're about to go. Okay, here we go. Crossing in the crosswalk. There you go. And this place here is called Sunset Valley Mansions. See, that's the right angle because the sun is now on us. So now we got proper lighting for the trip back. Take my mirror, everything's clear. And here we go rolling. Yeah, Maria Mercedes says she's sleepy, hungry, wants to go home. When the babies get tired of riding, they're like any kids, you know, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Not yet. Not yet, are we there yet? Not, Not yet. yet. Are we there yet? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maria's got the patience of an American child. The Filipino American children, they take certain traits from each culture, each background. And Maria, is, she's got the patience of a, uh, an American child. This red part of the pavement here is actually a bicycle lane. So we got a little, uh, little piece of real estate here about two to three feet wide for bicycles you see a lot of folks bicycling through this area bicycle bicycling from what I've seen is uh, 
you know, an up and coming, I mean, it's popular right now, but not like in Thailand. I mean, Thailand and bicycling has been very popular for a much longer time. But bicycling is uh, getting to be a big sport here in the Philippines. Got a bunch of little puppies. Maria, see the puppies? See the puppies? Right there, the puppies back there. All right, got a Subaru dealership. Brand new building. Um, I say brand new, it looks brand new. Got Subaru and Geely. G E E L Y. And the sign says Le Mans. Automotive Casa Service Plus. Hey, buddy, bro. You getting tired of riding two fourths G? Little sorry, sorry store here. Cute. Little galvanized steel. Couple tables out front. And we'll just merge over here. We'll just merge over here and line up instead of cutting across the cheap. Yeah, big McDonald's and they got an indoor play area. Matter of fact, we, we need to bring the children here. See that little play area inside? They got an indoor play area at this McDo. <laughs> give or take 10 grand or so you see a lot of toyota land cruisers here in the philippines don't make a whole lot of sense don't make a whole lot of sense at all when you see uh you know 80 80 thousand dollar vehicles 90 hundred thousand dollar vehicles riding around everywhere and you got people sleeping on the streets things that make you go hmm uh, I didn't set up the FX3 because Forest G is basically taking the position of where my tripod's got to go. And for that footage to be usable, I got to creep along at like one kilometer per hour. Hold on there, Coach G's. And the babies would get too bored by trying to do one, one kilometer per hour. All right, we're out of here, folks. Peace out. Y'all have a good one on this beautiful Sunday night on this beautiful planet that we call the earth out of here <laughs>